are off to the vintage show. For this video I was thinking I would let you guys kind of watch me do the actual vintage shopping process and not so much talk through it, but I did want to point out a couple things like this beautiful pink ballerina skirt that I'm holding in my hand. My friend was showing me the piece that she bought, but I ended up getting this little wrap skirt. It's literally like a ballerina skirt, it's so cute, and I found this dress and this vest. I ended up getting the vest only because the dress was too big on me, but they were both so beautiful and as a combination they literally would have made the prettiest outfit ever. So it's too bad the dress didn't work out, but I'm so excited to style that vest. I also found this really cool shop. I didn't get the name of it unfortunately, but they had basically only designer pieces, but like the most beautiful designer pieces, Emilio Pucci, this Fendi bag that I almost got, um, it was a little bit too worn though. Then I stopped by a store that I've actually bought things from in the past at the vintage show and I found this beautiful top that I'm obsessed with. I think I'm gonna get this one. I love her. I can imagine it going with pink. These are so cute. They have a little Oh wait, no, it's not a heart. Oh, it's kind of a heart. On the back. Oh, it's a heart. Yeah, and then a little one on the thing, on the strap. I kind of love that. I also just feel the need to comment on how much I love bangle bracelets, and yet I totally don't wear them enough. I've collected a few that I really, really like. And then they're just so clunky, I find them kind of hard to actually wear practically, but they're so fun and this shop had so many beautiful pieces, such a great selection, obviously jewelry focused and it was incredible. This shop on the other hand had some of the most beautiful clothing pieces I've seen. I've definitely noticed them before when I've gone to the vintage show in the past. When I go to these shows I also definitely try to avoid pieces that I feel like I could thrift myself and look at the pieces that are really beautiful that I would love to own and collect. But at the same time, uh, this year I felt like I should really focus on pieces that I know I can wear and style right now, pieces that I'm missing in my wardrobe that I'd love to own. Um, because in the past I've gone to this show and I've spent so much money on pieces that I to this day have not worn so like this Pucci dress is incredible but I can't picture myself actually wearing it so yeah just a little thought process I thought I would share with you guys I definitely just wanted pieces that I knew I would love and use Okay, this one's definitely another piece that deserves a mention. I found the most beautiful vintage low leather jacket. However, the zipper was totally busted and it just like was not a functional jacket and I went back and forth debating whether I should get it or not.
love these Velvet Valentino wide leg pants. They were definitely too wide at the waist and I would have had to get them tailored, but I actually think looking back I should have gotten these maybe. They were so stunning and definitely a color that I'm really into right now. This next shop that I kind of just peeked into ended up having some of the cutest granny chic type of sweaters. They were all very like typical vintage, but they like this one had beautiful beadwork and some of them just had the cutest patterns. This piece was obviously really cool as well, super chic and rocker and punk and I love it. I feel like maybe I'd be able to style that piece. It kind of reminded me actually of the Acne Studios um, show that just happened and I feel like it would have made a really cool addition to my wardrobe. But looking at the Acne Studios pieces, I actually think they're more in my style, a bit more subtle. Look how cute this skirt is, except it's like mega long, but I kind of love it. You like? This one's cute. I keep finding all these really precious vintage dresses recently that I'm dying to buy. I just wish I had somewhere to wear them. And I found this beautiful sequin flower brooch which I ended up getting and I actually just styled it in an outfit which you can see on my Instagram. I am obsessed with it. I've been collecting flower brooches and different Sex in the City carry like accessories for a while and that just made the perfect addition. And then along the lines of a flower applique kind of accessory, I found this beautiful Dolce & Gabbana mini skirt. It's so early 2000s style and I loved it, but the flowers kind of had a weird shape, if you know what I mean. Like they weren't really roses, there's only two of them. I feel like it was almost perfect. I feel like it needs to be documented even if I don't get it. <laughs> it's, it looks so sad, but it's a good haul, I promise. <laughs> 